In recent years, farming has put wildlife in a tough spot. As farmland expands, it encroaches on natural habitats, and as agriculture intensifies, it reduces the amount of wildlife that can thrive on farmland itself. Worse, global demand for food and other agricultural products continues to rise, ensuring that these pressures are only likely to increase. In response to these challenges, two basic conservation strategies have emerged, land sparing and land sharing. Land sparers advocate for further intensifying agriculture, that is, increasing yields on a given plot of land, to spare more room for nature off the farm. Land sharers argue for lowering productivity to allow for more wildlife on the farm. These two strategies imply a stark trade-off. Some observers have claimed that more industrialized conventional agriculture will tend to spare more land, while organic methods will share it. But the difference maker for wildlife doesn't really come down to conventional versus organic. It's mostly about yields, or the amount of crops grown on a given plot of land. A truly high yield farm, organic or conventional, will have little room for it to share with wildlife. There may still be some wiggle room, through innovative practices and tools that keep yields high, but also manage to open up some space for wildlife. Practices like no-till farming, planting cover and forage crops, intercropping, and crop rotations all have the potential to foster some biodiversity here and there. New high-tech tools, synthetic pesticides, and GM traits like BT cut down on the need for excessive pesticide spraying. Put it all together and it starts to look like some combination of the best of organic and conventional farming. In the end, these opportunities offer important but marginal improvements. Moving forward, we should absolutely focus on management interventions that offer wins for both land sparers and land sharers. But it will also be important to think globally, to concentrate our farms where biodiversity losses are the least and farming yields are the greatest.